Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome back to the Same Brain episode. We are in season two, as you know from the previous episode, but we are on episode number 54. Let's, well, that intro. Let's, let's see that intro. Maybe we have one this time. Before we jump into it, we should start off with reviews because yes. we have forgotten many times. And okay, uh, as of now, we have a 4.9 out of 5 ratings. Okay, while you read those reviews. Which is pretty good. I'm going to flip this screen to make sure we're still recording. Good idea, Jess. All right, these are the reviews from the Apple Podcasts. The subject, love it, five stars. Hey guys, thank you for making this podcast. This is the best podcast. Thank you very much. I also agree. Cap, wait, can I rate their rating? Can you? Or is that? No, you. That's my rating. That's your rating. So you just rated our podcast five I rated stars it five for the seven. first time. You didn't rate it before? Is that the first time rating? Uh, maybe it resets? I don't think it resets. Okay, well. Five stars only dot com. I have, I have rated. Okay, brains. I love how disorganized these episodes are. Oh. You guys sound like a great time to be around. That's a fair, mm. fair, mm. very uh, fair. I think we're pretty fun. Well, they said they said we are fun. They just said we're disorganized. No, hundred percent. So that's like not no lies detected there. If I had to describe your podcast in one word, is the title, and then it says, "Amazing." Oh, so thank you very much. Oh, this is from Great John Cena. Oh my God, do oh you think God. it's actually John, John Cena? Cena? Maybe, Maybe because he's on Twitter. He's active. He's following all the people. Mm -hmm. I think did he, he follow you? Yeah, he did. Yeah, same. John, thank hey. you. Thanks for the follow. Do you think? John Cena wants to be on the podcast. I mean, it's really, it's, it's incredible. Like, the, like the production value, our talent, yeah. our voices are so beautiful. True. Now this one is a four star rating. It's been declining. Okay. I used to love the show, but the episodes have gotten shorter <gasps> and less frequent and consistent. It has become more promotional content than them just chatting. I hope they can go back to weekly hour long episodes of them chatting. We haven't promoted a single thing on this we episode. We really haven't. We haven't, I mean, have they, have they declined in the frequency? Yes. Yes, because you know why life, life happens. I yeah. hate to break it to you guys, but we're real people. And most of the time my priorities have just been about surviving and surviving. Um, I've lost a lot of money on the show just to be Yes, one hundred percent. Because we, we haven't taken of... any like sellout <laughs> offers where we're like we're going to promote this and people will one hundred percent be like you don't use that. So we've declined a lot of things, and the things that we talk about are the things that we're talking about anyway on our YouTube channel. And here so, I am drinking. Uh, uh, hopefully, a future sponsor. I forgot to slide into the DMs. That's okay. It's never too late. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah. So I mean, we do talk about a lot of stuff, but that's that's just what we talk about. But I will say you are not wrong that it hasn't been as uh, consistent because life has gotten in the way, my friend. And I couldn't even be around you for two weeks because I was- It was even longer than that. True. Because I because I left town and then you were out of town. And then you, it's yeah. a whole thing. Anyway, anyway, we get it. We're trying. You know, I'll tell you what's not motivating is somebody giving you a four-star review though on, on there. No. That doesn't motivate me to want to be better. It makes me want to- <laughs> Just stop making free content for you where That's I've, true. I mean, I don't even want, I don't, I don't want to estimate how much money I've spent on the podcast. We appreciate it. Um, but I like, we wouldn't be doing this if we weren't enjoying it. That's true. And I think too, like going back, this comment was from December, like thinking about how, I mean, we did have a lot of sponsored content, like for our channels to get through for not to get through, but to do and like the, before the holidays. So like I was focusing on making that content you know, good. And then just, there wasn't enough time for the podcast. And there wasn't, I feel like we still edit a lot of the things ourselves. So that's yeah, and difficult. I, this is also my come as a surprise to you guys, but like we we have lives too, like outside of this. Like I haven't I, really been doing. Okay, well I have. I haven't been I doing do anything. Things. Jenna has not been I've just well. been sitting on the couch. I would like to have a life again though. Cause it's very depressing sitting inside all the time. And I know, but, but yeah. We're real people. Uh, now, real people that I do things. Okay, hold on a second. We also take voice messages. Yes, we do. And as I've said before, please keep them under 15 seconds because, um, because, just because. She also refuses to hook it up to the Bluetooth. Hi guys, how are you? I really, really enjoy your podcast. When will your next episode be out? Uh, well, Kareem, oh. right Working now. Working on it. Woo! Woo! Uh, thank you. Oh my God, thank Kareem you. has sent has sent two messages, well, let's listen to the other one. Might as well. Probably still waiting for the podcast. Hi, Jenna. Justine. Oh, that was personal. It's an amazing podcast. I really, really like it. <laughs> Keep up the good work. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. I really like the podcast. Thank, Thank you. you. 
this, I feel this, like this makes up I for the need, four star review. I need the wish of the best of luck. Um, okay, thank you. Oh, here's one from <laughs> this one says Happy Halloween. Oh, Love oops. that. Okay, yep. Well, it's been a minute. Hi, Justine. Hi, Jenna. I just called in to say Happy Halloween. Woo! Ah, happy Halloween. I didn't want to blow out the audio. That's that's actually very thoughtful. That's it. Happy Halloween. We love getting to your messages. What? Just, just because we don't see them yeah. immediately, we do see and hear them eventually. Mm-hmm. So thank you guys for, for leaving those. You can leave the, the voice messages on anchor.fm slash same brain and the podcast, Apple podcast reviews in the Apple podcast yeah. app because it is an app. So now let's get into it. Uh, three seconds before I hit record, I said, hey, Jenna, what are we going to talk about today? I don't know. I don't know either, don't know. to be honest with you. Um, I was actually, so this is actually interesting. What, what I have been doing recently is because I haven't been creating as much content pretty much over the past, what, a couple of months, even whenever Ooh. we went to Palm Springs. We went to Palm Springs. Did we go to, we did. Oh, our parents. Uh, December. That, was, that was a long that time ago. That was almost two months ago. So our family was in town, went to Palm Springs and I have actually been participating in communities. And I know the drama around NFTs, it's not, it's not the point of it, but there's a lot of really cool communities that are built around them. And I- have become a consumer of content. Yes, a lot of people are very upset every time you talk about NFTs. I know, and so I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't wanna bring it up and and start the drama. But um, what's been cool about, I guess, me not creating is I have been consuming a lot of content. I've been watching a ton of TikTok. I've been watching a ton of YouTube. And I've also been in a lot of these Discord communities and it's been really fun. And speaking of Discord, this kind of motivated me to reboot our Discord server because it is oh. such a fun platform. It is a it's a great place for communities. Did yeah. you see? I think what PlayStation is now trying they're, to yeah integrate, they're integrating uh, into Discord, which yeah. is kind of cool for for gaming. But hold on, let me let me tell them about our Discord server. So the reason that I was like, okay, it's crazy because I have been a content creator for almost decades, the entire time that content creation has been around. So there has never been a time where I have actually stepped back from creating to consume and see what it's like on the other end. Now, that's not to say that I'm not watching or like I watch content all the time, yeah. but this was like, it was very, very different because I was like, I wanted to see what it was kind of like from like your guys' perspective. Mm-hmm. It's so wild. I watch so much TikTok. Me I do. I am just in it. And then I forget to make TikTok. Yeah, but it's been fun though, kind of like actually getting into these communities and not being sort of like a, a, a part of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I am, but it's not something that I created. So that has been kind of giving me like a whole nother perspective on how to create content for you guys. And also like rebooting the Discord server was kind of a part of that. Cause I was like, I'm having so much fun over on these other communities. And I was yeah. like, wait a minute, we have that. It's we true. We have such an incredible passionate community of people that love tech, that love food, that love like all of the things that like we, I love the, that's my two tech things, and like food. tech and food. I mean, who doesn't love that? Um, so yeah, so I think that's kind of been helping me sort of get motivated and like be a better creator. Yeah. So I'm super excited. And today we're recording this on February 1st. And that was the day that I gave myself until I, I didn't have to do any work and gone back. what I said too. And um, I, I think I tweeted that a couple of, I was like, can we just start on February 1st? And everyone's like, I well, did. technically that is like the, the Lunar New Year, right? So yeah. we're here and we're ready. And I am filming a vlog, Justine. If you no see way, in dude. front of us, we have a camera. It's the Sony Alpha 7 IV. Um, and I'm, I'm making a vlog. I'm excited about it. This is the new Joby microphone as well. I'm testing it out. It, yeah, I came up here and I was like, oh, what's that? It yeah. looks like a little rocket ship. It's like a little rocket ship. Yeah, so it's the new Joby. Um, it's not sponsored. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's cool. So it's the Joby um, Wavo Pro. And it's pretty cool because hmm. it has the active noise reduction. But you can also, so obviously plug in like a normal microphone, yeah. not a hot shoe. Because you can use it with other uh, cameras. Because we're used to the Sony where it's just hot shoe in. Hot. Hot. hot anyway, swap. you can also add an, another lav right here. So I like that. If like someone's doing a behind the camera interview, like you can lob them in. But that's nice. It's, it's wired. Yeah, that's so cool though. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to test it out more. So far I've only, um, well, that's it. That's all I've done that's so far. That's gonna fall. That's making me super nervous. Is that a new tripod or is that your old one? So this is the new tripod. I like it. Oh my gosh. Did you see my tweet earlier today? No, but I need I need to get some of this. Yeah, this good, these it's goods. pretty cool. You, you should re- try replying to emails because I learned the hard way by not replying to emails. And I was like, oh, you got an email about it? I got an email about it. 
I don't know if I got an email about it. That's okay. There's a lot. They came up with a lot of other really cool stuff. It's um, the Wavo Air and the Wavo uh, Pod, which is actually oh, a little you microphone. You brought it all over. I know. I know. But I was, I really had my hands full with the camera. But the Wavo Pod, I'm interested in trying it out because it's for like podcasting or streaming. So it's this little like stand up uh, microphone. So I wonder if maybe hmm. one day, oh my God, what if Joby is like, Hey, do you guys want to try us out on the podcast? Maybe we can have a sponsor. <laughs> but no, I am excited to try it out because it's cool. And I'm always looking for new tech. But yeah, the microphone so far is so interesting. Good. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm into it. And so, I like that it doesn't take the battery from the camera. I like that too. Um, that's the problem. I'm checking my email. I don't think that I've received an email. Yeah. What's this? Oh, that's just an update on that's the announcement. That's just a press release. You got a gift. I got a you gift. You got a gift. Well, I got samples. I think I'm sending them back. Okay. I'm not sure. I didn't, didn't, clearly didn't read that much. No, but that's, that's pretty awesome. But the thing that I'm not going to lie in this little care package, because I saw it this morning. Is that this morning? The fanny pack. There's a fanny pack that okay. came in it. And it is the coolest thing ever. It's like a two-sided fanny pack. It's a front and a back. Okay, but here's front the thing. Front fanny, back so fanny. I was doing my vlog earlier where I was talking about the fanny and I realized that you can take off one fanny. Oh. So maybe it's not a double-sided fanny, but can you wear it as a double-sided fanny? I'll you were. Send you the clip. I know, I know, but I was like, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be worn. Mm. But I love double-sided front fanny, back fanny. It's a cool look, but this is what I was doing earlier because it's cool because there's like all these little oh extensions like yeah. that you can add onto the Joby like tripod. So like I added a phone mount so I could, if I'm filming on my regular camera, I can have uh, my phone to film for vertical and you can that's add like cool. a little light and other stuff like that. So it's very interesting. Huh. That's what that I was might, doing before I came over. That might be something I'd be interested in making a little video about. Yeah. Did you make a video about it? Well, I, um, so I'm trying a new format where I'm like doing more casual vlogging. Oh, casual vlogging. So I'm like, hey guys, yes. like, I got the new Alpha 7.4. I'm also trying to say Alpha instead of A because it's Alpha 7. Is that, is that frowned upon? No, but um, anyway, so I was like, hey guys, I have this stuff. Like I'm going to try a new vlog setup and then like was kind of just like doing it like that. Um, anyway, I'm still stuck on the Alpha. Alpha, okay. So, I mean, but it is, it, it is, but we all say A. Yes. Taking it back to, if you guys don't know, I've been doing a new web hosting series with Sony Electronics, okay? Me and Sydney, we've been the co-hosts for the mm -hmm. past couple of episodes and hopefully, you know, a lot more episodes where Sony Electronics, they're like, hey, you guys want to host us a new show? Now, Sony Alpha has been very involved in the community. So this is like a whole new thing that- It's like, a really good show. Has never been done before. And we just filmed two episodes- uh, two more episodes that are coming up, which are action packed, Justine, action packed. I'm so hyped for the action. It's crazy. It's gonna be. It's gonna be really good. We uh, well, Sydney actually went to Sarah Dici Studio. No way. And did a little tour. Oh, that's fun. Um, and I'm gonna be interviewing. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say it. Don't say it. Just hold the. Secret. I'm going to be interviewing a very talented musician. Oh. Who may or may not know the Beebs. No way. But no, very talented musician. I don't. I want to keep it all a surprise. Uh, we had JD Witherspoon on the on the on the show. And I saw he tweeted me a, or he, or yeah, it was a, a picture of you guys hanging out, and I was like, how am I my friends? And we had Carter PCs who oh. recently blew up on TikTok, and he is like, first off, when I found out his age and the fact that he was still in high school, I was like, you are so professional and like so well spoken and so put together and like so mature. I'm like. I'm twice your age and I do not have my life together. No. So we have a lot of great guests coming up, a lot of great content and a secret thing that I know about that you don't know about. Mm. So a lot of, anyway, that's me. Mm. That's a long thing of like, I'm hosting with Sydney this new show and it's pretty cool. What's like, it called? You didn't tell us what it was called, Jenna. It's called The Lowdown. Where can they watch it, Jenna? You can watch it. There's going to be a link, but it's the Sony Electronics uh, YouTube channel. And you know, sometimes we make an appearance on the uh, social media as well. You gave me a Christmas gift and I, I was, I made a little cameo. It's over there. It's a little you light. You did? Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's a speaker, but also a light. Well, it's a speaker, but a light. It's very nice. But, it, but it's like, it's light first because you see it and then you hear it and you're like, wait, there's audio coming out of that? Yeah, it's like this glass speaker. It's actually quite incredible. It's super cool. So many cool products. And oh, one other thing too about the uh, Sony, uh, the show that we do is there's always a retro challenge where they find products from the Sony electronics from the past 75 years. And like, we have to guess the year and how much it cost when it came out. And like, uh, you know how bad I would be at that? 
Because you saw how bad I was in The Price is Right. I'm losing so far. Oh, no. I started strong, and then I was just doing terrible. You need to pick it up. But it's fascinating. The la- the one episode, I was like, what is this? Like, I, I know what this is, and had no idea. And it was from, like, 2003. But huh. it's cool. There's a lot of a lot of cool stuff that happens. That's cool. And the action-packed show, The Lowdown, Sony Electronics. That's awesome. No, I'm excited to watch the next episode. Um, It's fun. It's a very, very good, very, very I'm well available done. for cameos whenever you guys need. We know. Okay. Just letting you know, just letting you know, just, just as a, you know, hey. We know where to a find friend, you. A friend of Sony. We're, we're trying to figure out where to fit you in. Yeah, make it good. Yeah. You're, you're going to get a feature, yeah. feature episode. Make it good. Well, <laughs> we will try. Um, also, Tyler's editing this podcast today. Hi, Tyler. Hello, so Tyler. You guys may have seen that Tyler has relocated to- to Portland, yeah, Oregon, up in that area, Washington. I don't. It's not like specifically Portland. I'm not. I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna tell you his address. Pacific Northwest. It's, you're. Oh, we were gonna put the address. in the You were gonna put it right here. Ah, uh, here it is. Tyler. Well, it Tyler. Yeah. Um, no, it's actually. It's funny because this is almost a year to date when we did our our um, three week road trip up to the yes, coast. Yes, we did. I drove basically all the way up to Oregon, and you just kept editing in the in the passenger seat. Yeah, I was very. I was so busy. At I mean, the beginning of the year last year. Yeah, I was busy. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm very excited for Tyler's new adventure. We're gonna have to go visit him. I'm down. I know how to drive. We're going to miss him here shooting in the studio, but obviously the cool thing about the internet is he can still edit. So he'll still be editing some stuff for us and I'm so excited for his new adventure. And did you know that planes exist and cars? So like, yeah, we can visit, he can visit. I know. It's not the end, it's a... It's a It's a new beginning for Tyler. Tyler, I give him a round of applause. Which one is it? This one. Yeah, there it is. Anyway, it's been so much fun working with him over the past couple of years and it's so hard to sort of find somebody that can like understand like your weirdness like when you're editing or like yeah. the, the amount of footage that he's had to go through of me just like sitting on the desk like almost in tears because I can't say a sentence sometimes. Oh yeah. Oh, it's been bad, there. it's been real, there. it's real. And there is always a very high request for getting Tyler on the podcast. So we, it uh, will happen. It didn't happen before he left because we just had, everybody had a lot of stuff to do, but we know where to find him. We know, we know. I know we've, where to find him. You know we've, already, we've already discussed it because he will be back in town. Um, I don't want to say when, just in case you know. He's like, I don't want anyone to know I'm here, but it's going to happen. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So we're very excited because there is one commenter who specifically has been like counting down the days of 107th day of asking if Tyler can be on the podcast. It has, has to, to be you. like, we see you. It has to be like 250 at this point. It's probably a lot. Because we're yeah. coming up on, oh boy. Yeah. So yeah, that's, um, uh, that's what's new. What's yeah. going on here? Um, so we will miss Tyler, but um, it's not goodbye forever. He's, no. he's close. We can travel. And I really want to do another road trip up the coast. Bryn oh is FaceTiming boy. us. Our two-year-old niece. Let's, let's answer. She FaceTimes us around this time. Hi, Hi Brittany. Brittany. Hey, you ran then. You like to run. She knows how to call the family. Hey, Bryn, group we're chat. recording a podcast. Can you say podcast? Okay. Say it again. Say podcast. Say podcast. Podcast. <laughs> Bryn was. You were on the podcast. You want to see Jenna? Hey, Bryn. Jesse. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Jesse. Hi. See Pappy. Pappy, Pappy, <laughs> he's got to answer the phone. Um, okay, it was good to see you, Brittany. We got to go because we're working. We're working. We're not making money though. See, okay. oh. he's Bye. he's busy. Bye. <laughs> so, so our two year old niece knows how to take our other sister's phone and go to the family group chat and hit FaceTime. It basically happens every night at around this time. Um, And then she knows how to just call everyone individually as well. So if she doesn't want to talk to everyone, she hangs up and then I'll get like a personal call and it says, hi, Jenna, bye. And then hangs up and then calls the next person. It's so crazy. And like, we think she can read. Maybe she can't read, read, but she can identify like the the letters or like yeah. the, the the shape whatever of like people's names and like first and last names like she's called some of our friends before like yeah, in she our calls, phone book it's crazy she'll scroll through and she'll be like mm, calling whoever calls and them I know I'm like how and, do and you so, know like she's picking up our sister's phone and our phones and like FaceTiming random people out of our phone book it's oh, yeah. kind of, that's kind of scary and then the one time you know, she was like, like she goes no FaceTime, message, closes the FaceTime. Oh, this is when I was with her. Opens up the text messages and starts typing. Now, obviously they were not words because she is two, but like she she goes, no FaceTime, message and opened up the message. It was like, message. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like she has to be some type of like 
engineer that works for NASA one day. It's the only explanation. Only explanation. Only explanation. Um, okay, so I have a headache. Yeah. I, hold on. I'm typing. I'm, I'm planning my evening. You had a headache? No, do you? You just said I you just did. said it. <laughs> Wait, that's, there, there was a TikTok I wanted to do. It was the Kim Kardashian one. It's like, hmm, I'm so exhausted. I'm jet lagged from Australia. And she's like, hmm, why? She's like, oh, she's like, I'm jet because lagged. I'm jet lagged from Australia. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm getting, my, I'm getting my private Bryn call now. She knows she just publicly called. Publicly. Oh, publicly. oh my God, now she's calling again. You didn't compliment my new jacket. Oh, that is nice. What is it? It is N Philanthropy. What is that? It's not that brand. Like the you know it. Look at the tag. It's that brand. It's like that brand that's like always has holes in the t-shirts and it's like expensive. Oh yeah, I think they changed their name. They did? Because I don't think that's. I'm not. Un, I'm unsure. Oh, I don't know. But I saw the tag and it said that um, 10, 15, 10 or fifteen percent of the profits went to pediatric cancer and animal something. Oh. And I went, well. It's, it's the, some of the profits are going to a good cause. Huh. I guess that makes the expensive price worth it. But yeah, uh, my wardrobe, yikes. I try to redo my wardrobe all the time and try to buy like nice shirts. And all I do is buy the same Lululemon pants and long sleeve t-shirts. I've already decided I only wear rag and bone now. It's very expensive, but like this is all I wear. Sale. And they do have sale. But like I've worn this probably for like, 80 videos and I just basically rewear these same little like I don't even know what this type of fabric is whatever mm. they are so well made it's like this in Lulu well I bought you this um it's like the aqua 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 oh yeah, yeah aqua. For the, the Bloomingdale's yeah so there was like a best buy blue cashmere okay <gasps> you and bought I like, it I was like I'm gonna buy this for just <gasps> but here's the problem I wore it on my Sony set the other day that's okay but I was like okay because it's kind of a Sony blue as well like Sony's yeah. blue I was, it looks so good on camera but like yeah it was on sale and so before, their stuff is like, so nice but so I've been doing a ton of Best Buy stuff and I always try to like match their color yeah. to like make it festive. I had to buy like a whole new like wardrobe of blue. I like, I went to like the Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom website and I just clicked blue and I was like, bye, 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 bye. Oh yeah. And then I returned some stuff. Well, you can fit. wear, you can wear the Best Buy blue sweater whenever, if you Thank have a, you. New, a new project because it's will. a fantastic color and it's nice and it was on sale because it's like, it's about, it's going to warm up soon. So like nobody wants to wear cashmere. Yeah. I mean, which is actually, it was very cold today outside. I've worked with a lot of brands, but Best Buy was like, I think it was honestly one of my favorites. They're pretty great. I mean, it's, it's Best Buy. It's freaking Best Buy, man. Best I know, and it was just like, I, I got to like make videos about all of my favorite tech and it was like some of the stuff, I'm like, well, I already genuinely, like this is the stuff that I have yeah. and this is where I shop. So yeah, so it was pretty cool. So that was definitely a very, very fun project from, from the last year. What do you think our next adventure is gonna be? We haven't been on an adventure. We haven't. Um, I wanna do Under Canvas. Oh, it's fun. I love Because it's under like canvas. an easy little trip. Like we can just go do like a weekend getaway. If you guys yeah. don't know what under canvas is, it's glamping. It's glamping. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's a little glamping. hotel, but it's like, um, outside. it's a, like a tent, but like, oh my God. The one that we went to, oh, like it a, was the king so, bed. oh yeah. King bed, shower, like mm, little heaters. Like, yeah, you're freaking You fine. have a cafe. You go in like the oh, yeah, main. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's, oh yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. And it's perfect for like, if you want to do any type of like astro at night, cause it's like, just toss the camera outside and go back in your tent. And yeah. Put the, put the fireplace. Well, it's not fireplace. You actually make a real, what well, mm -hmm. is a fireplace, but you make a real fire. Yeah. It's like one of the, the wood burning ones. But I think you know? what I would do if I, next time I go is bring a little heater and like a, and like a, one of your uh, big power bank thingies. Yeah. Because here's the problem. You have to wake up in the middle of the night to either continue the fire. Mm -hmm. Well, no, you definitely do. Cause the fire goes out. The fire went out and I don't know where I was. Was it Yellowstone? You Is get that cold. somewhere? I was a uh, frigid. So if you have your little portable heater. Yeah, smart, smart. You don't, you're going to be fine. Yeah. I think I was like Grand Canyon a couple of years mm -hmm. ago and I woke up and I was like, shivering. And I'm like, oh no, the fire is gone. And like one of the person, someone like made it for me. So I was like, what do I do? I'm like, I guess I just bundle up and hope for the best. And you call that front desk. At 3 a.m. There's a front desk. There is a front desk. Like it's so, so fun. Like it's I, really I cool. love it. I would, I would be down to do that, which gets, has to get a little bit warmer though. Cause a lot of the, like probably, I think Utah Why is, is this cold. so close to us? You put it there. I did. I'm going to move that. It is pretty cool. Um, I thought it felt pretty close. Yeah, it felt super close. But yeah, that, um, that, that, that was fun. You took uh, Maddie once to the- Yeah, to the Grand Canyon. I, I looked at him. I was like, I'm bored. I was like, Maddie, do you want to go to the Grand Canyon? And he went, 
was like, I don't know, I don't know what the Grand Canyon is, but let's go. And he was so cute. That's when he got under the covers because he was even cold. Because oh. I didn't put the fire on. Which but, one should we go to? Um, I want to go. So Zion is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Uh, only, well, I've only been to like four, three. Well, like what's the what's like the is there one in Joshua Tree now? Um, there's. Are those, I think uh, they're putting one in, or they're think I think it's coming, but there's an auto camp in Joshua Tree. Yeah, that's what I was so thinking. So auto of. camp is Joshua Tree. Oh, I want to go to Yosemite though. We Yosemite, can, we can do so that. Nice. We can do whatever we want. When? I don't know. I was very unbusy in January, but you were sick. I know. I still am. Jenna got exposed again. How do you? So she thought she thought she was in the clear. I'm gonna be honest. I still could be. My friend, doc, my doctor friend. I wonder, I'm not going to say okay. who, uh, said that there's a 20% chance that my PCR test, you know, I can still have it. Whatever. Anyway. You're so sitting very I'm, close to I'm me. I'm super close to you. So. I'm going to keep drinking my greens. <laughs> yeah. I was very closely exposed again. And I have been, I, I don't go anywhere. I literally work and then I stay inside. And like, yeah, like we traveled home to see our family. So like I was, I've been on planes, but like, I'm not like going to parties or like doing anything. I don't do anything. I mean, I go. I still go to dinner I, uh, frequently. I don't even go to dinner because I, I think do. that's where I got it the first time. Yeah. So I'm saying like, I still do things. Obviously, like I wear a mask. Most of these dinners are outside, but like you don't even go anywhere. I, I don't hang out with anyone. I've been like a very bad friend too. But like anytime I'm like, well, I'm sick. Like my friend moved here almost a year ago and I still have not seen her because I was oh gone. I was gone all last year. And then anytime we were supposed to hang out, I, I've been like sick. So I'm like, I've been a yeah, horrible She's not friend. far either. Well, she's kind of far. Well, I mean like, you know, considering she's considering. not in like San Diego. No, but San Diego and Silver Lake are basically the same distance. It could be in traffic. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been in San Diego so much more now, actually. We San went Diego to, is so nice. We went to Home Depot this morning. That was today. I know. I woke up this morning. Um, and so I just want to say like, I think that I love Home Depot. Like I've loved them before, but now I love them even more. She does not love any of their potential political, um, things that they may do or, or give money to. Cause I've heard some things. She just is talking about the store. The store. Don't make it political. No, this is not political. This is the store. Because first of all, I bought a bucket. <laughs> at Home Depot today. Okay, I bought a bucket and a mm-hmm. mop, whatever. I bought a bunch of other stuff too, but the bucket and mop specifically, I tweeted about it. I tweeted about the bucket tech because I was so impressed with it because I am not gonna lie, like I don't, I don't mop. The only mopping I ever do is I have a Swiffer. That's a Swiffer mop. Well, and you have the LG one, but like that's not even fair. No, that's not, I mean, I'm not, I'm talking like industrial, like I'm going, I'm cleaning out my garage. Anyway. Like there's a, like a severe spill type yeah, of Yeah, like mopping. this is like, I'm, this is, this is industrial mopping. Industrial mopping. Okay. okay, now let's let's just let's talk about this for a second. Okay. Mop was like thirty five dollars at Home Depot plus and bucket, plus bucket mop and bucket and the little pad to, to mop. <clears throat> I look on Amazon; it was like almost sixty dollars. Yes, like double the price. You pay for the convenience and so that. Uh, but you Jeffrey know, Jeffrey Bezos can continue to go on his yachts. But buy his yachts. Here's the thing: if I ordered it from either Amazon or Home Depot, I still would get it the next day. So I was like, for how many dollars? Free freaking shipping from the Home Depot for the for the Home Depot price or the Amazon price? The Home Depot price, which was thirty some. Home Depot thirty three. So what you're learning is that potentially there are other shopping options. I, for whatever reason. Other than like Best Buy is where I buy most of my tech. Yeah. And then like Amazon for just like like toilet paper, like all of those random things, like a mop, toilet a bucket. Paper. That seems like the worst place. Okay. I mean, I've done it. I, I've done it. But like, think about how much extra you're paying for toilet paper. Exactly. But what I'm saying is the fact that like just that price difference, I was like, I'm going to shop around. Yes. You, can, shop around. you can get toilet paper at Home Depot and paper towel. I found that out. Anyway, I got, a fake, around. I got a fake plant. I, what else did I get? I got a, a power washer. I got a broom. I got two, three brooms actually. And Maddie um, came. Maddie went to Maddie Home Depot. Was there. He had the time of his life. I ordered something because they do also like um, next day or same day, like home delivery. Oh. So I ordered this power washer plus a, uh, like a, a, what's it called? A, a shelf. And I guess it was so early that they opened at 5 a.m. Yeah. This delivery happened at 6 a.m. Quick. I was still sleeping. 
You're like, I'm not awake. I wasn't even awake. And did they deliver the power washer? Well, so they mixed up the order and they delivered me um, some plastic bins instead. But charged you for the power washer. And then the receipt says, I hope you enjoy your power washer. And yeah. Like, I don't have one. Like, I was upset for a few seconds and I thought it was funny. And then I, like, the return process, everything was so smooth and yeah. seamless. Like, I can't, just can't get over how great my Home Depot experience was. It's pretty great. Like, I had a lovely time. Have you ever tried to ask someone for help in the aisles? Um, or find someone to help? Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, you what, I oh! use, what I usually do is I'll look it up online ahead of time. I'll type in the Home Depot location. I'll look up the item I need. It'll say aisle F27. That way I don't have to ask anyone because the introvert in me does not want any type of confrontation. No. So I find it myself and I go there. I'm nervous that your camera is going to fall over. It's making me super nervous. Um, okay. Anyway, moving on to the next topic. Um, what am, what else are we going to talk about? What are you in there for dinner? Um, I don't know yet. Because um, I was thinking of ordering something. I might go. I don't know. You're going to go to dinner? I have no idea. Oh my God. I don't know. Oh my God. Are you going to go to dinner? I, I, so I don't know because I don't have food. I came over here and I took a, I took three snacks because I was like, I'm so hungry. I have snacks. So I don't know if I'm going to like go pick something up or like, go, like I have makeup ones. So like, do, I, do we go to dinner? Oh my I don't, God. Well, I don't I'm going to place an order if you'd like to order something from oh this, God, this just, restaurant that is my favorite. Ate, Oh, that's it's okay. A, are you sure? Yeah, I don't. That place isn't like my favorite. It's really anymore. not the best, it's but hit or like, miss. And I mean, when I get a basic salad, it's fine. I can never forget. Wasn't that the place where they just gave you a, a plate of meat one day? No. Oh no, well, that was um. My, my the brain place. has been. It was the place where uh, one of our friends who used to film with us he got the seafood salad and then he oh. got food poisoning. What First of all, just thinking like a seafood salad scares me. That's disgusting. It was like full of, it had like oysters and like all this weird stuff on it. And like, think about the process of like, it it just, I don't know. It's just like in the car or like on a bike. It traveled. It traveled. The seafood salad traveled. Like it traveled from the sea to the restaurant and then on a bike salad. Yikes. Well, I ordered my salad. Okay, that's Um, good. I'm excited for you and your salad. Thank you. So Maddie blends in with his bed. He does. He has like three beds stacked on top of each other. (laughs) I still need to get this whole studio situated. Like this is supposed to be a temporary situation. And then, well, here we are still (sighs) here. I cleaned my studio and then it got messy again. And then I cleaned it again and then it's messy again. And I just, I just, I need, I, I don't know. I don't know what I need. I need to like either rent a place or like get a bigger place. I need to figure out something because I'm my mental my mental, my well being, and my motivation is just, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think if I just travel, I'll be happy. I just need to travel. Yeah. I feel like we need like a little fun, like getaway trip. I need some type of fun. I need, Poor I, Jenna. I just, I mean, I'm fine, but like, I'm also like, hmm, am I fine? I don't know. I don't know either. Hmm. Eesh. Eesh. Oh, we got Samsung stuff, I think, coming out soon, right? We're we, going to have some new phones. We do. So that's going to be exciting. I am actually excited about that. Um, we are going to go visit our family. Yeah, we're going to go see them. Yeah, that's uh, fun. It's cold back home. But it's been cold here. I mean, it hasn't been as cold here. We don't have um, snow. No, 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 no. It's, it's been cold. Whoa. Did a spaceship just take off? It sounded like a spaceship has well, taken off. let me tell you about not having heat in Los Angeles. And it gets very cold. Your house, it's weird because I don't need to put the heat on in my house, which is strange because I like have a lot of windows, so I guess. Although my downstairs, my office gets cold. But yeah, in here. I don't know why you're- It is like, I mean, I wake up cold. shivering. I like, I'm like- I like in my office, I have um, obviously like my computer, my PC and stuff is going, but like, I'm like, that's not- Use it as a warm. heater. But it's not- no, Get your it, Intel Mac, plug it in and open up like four different files. That's what everybody- Four different programs. Um, so I like sit with the space heater by me. I like wrap myself in a um, a heating pad. Like it's really sad and I'm getting yeah. very upset. Well, I- Like I'm trying to be nice about it, but I'm getting mad because they're not fixing when it. When are they coming? I don't know. Oh, I took Maddie for a W-A-L-K. I can't say it because mm-hmm. he'll hear. And I just had like a skinny, like little skinny shirt skinny. on, long sleeve. And I went out there. I was like, I was like, Ugh. I was shivering. Dude, I shivering. Know. And I'm like, it's a 66 degrees. And I was like, I was like, what's wrong with me? I was like, am I sick or am I cold? I'm like, what's going on? Well, and I couldn't I mean, tell. It's such a different temperature when you're near the water, like the west side of Los Angeles, yeah. as opposed to like the east side. Like it's really crazy. Like the, the chill in the air from the water. It's just, wow, we... I want to go. Okay, this Where is on my go? list of places I want to go. I want to go to Yellowstone. I want to go back to Yosemite. I want to go 
to, um, okay, where else do I want to go? I'm going to go back to Moab. Moab was so great, but we were so busy. We didn't get to really enjoy it. Mm, I want to go to Grand Canyon would be fun again. Go back there. Um, the moon, uh, Montana. I want to go back to Montana. God, I would love to go to Montana. Moon. I, um, I feel like we need Oregon. Another Hawaii trip. Hawaii. I mean, I I always want to go. Yeah. Literally we'll go. I will go tomorrow if I could. I just hate leaving Maddie. Yes. I that's want, the hard thing. So that's, I, I want him to come wherever we go. Mm-hmm. But he, uh, Hawaii is tough if, unless you plan six months out and get all the quarantine yeah. documents. And I can't even plan what I'm doing tomorrow. Right. Actually, I do know what I'm doing tomorrow only because I didn't plan it. Uh, I, like the last time we went, we were there for a month and it was great because we had been back home with our family. So we left Maddie in Pennsylvania. So he yep. was like, he was farm boy. He was a farm boy. Which for, was nice because it's like he had so much fun like hanging out with our parents and he has room to run and be yeah. free. He likes so. to eat deer poop, mm-hmm. which but obviously we don't allow. What are we going to do if our parents go to Hawaii and then we got to, we got to find Maddie, his babysitter. I don't I mean, know. I mean, he does have an incredible babysitter yes. here as well. So that's definitely great. But I just hate leaving him for that well, long. Well, and because he's like, he's, we have been home so much. So like he's yeah. not used to being left. So his little anxiety, he gets real sad. Oh, buddy. I get sad. I'm like, no, I need to see my best friend. He is my best friend. He's my best friend. He needs he's a, a real cool guy. He needs a shortening of his hairs, which I can't say because he gets upset yeah. and he's, sh- he's sleeping. Um, which shortening of the uh, hair. He needs a shortening of his <laughs> hair and a scrub of the body. And I called today and they're like, okay, February, like three weeks out. And I'm like, oh, he's already <gasps> like two weeks past when he should have gotten one. Here's a question. So I came at him with some scissors earlier. What do you think Maddie thinks that we are doing right now? I don't know. Like, I thought what about is he- the other day when I was, he was with me in the car and I was on the phone I was like, does he think I'm talking to someone or talking to myself or talking to him? I don't know. I don't either. Because I feel like when we talk to him, we're very direct and specific. Yes. And he he makes incredible eye contact. And he listens. Yes. So I feel like well, he's sleeping because he had his dinner. And now he's just like, nobody played with me after my dinner, which they usually do. So I'm just going to take a little slumber. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's sleeping. So he's really probably not thinking about anything but seep. When he's probably dreaming about all the doggies he met earlier. He met so many cute dogs. He's a cute dog. He met uh, one was named Parker. Um, so the thing about me is I will know every dog in my neighborhood. And there are a lot of them. If you ask me that what the owner uh, dog parent's name was, not a clue. Not a clue. And like, you've seen this. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, look, when you, like if you're over, I'm like, hey, look, that's uh, that's Parker. I'm like, oh, that's Bella. Oh, that's um, Blue. Oh, that's this dog. And you're like, wow, you have a problem. Well, The funny thing about the neighborhood is everybody knows Maddie. Oh, yes. And they recognize Jenna walking him here. And I was like, I was walking Maddie. And they're like, (laughs) oh, a stranger is walking. They're like, oh, that's Maddie. Hi. I was like, hi. Like, who are you? Are you the dog walker? Who are you? So funny. And then I was told Jenna, I was like, oh, Maddie just met um, Bella. This this girl dog, whatever. Her name is Bella. Bella. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I go, Bella's 14. Bella is funny because she will be doing a handstand. We think, me and the owner, we think it's because she wants to get higher on the tree to be like the, like the bigger dogs, yeah. like, like the, the male dogs. And uh, yeah, so Bella does a handstand when she pees and it's incredible. And mm. it's actually kind of like a cartwheel sometimes because she'll like rotate. That's incredible. fascinating. So yeah, the, I have a problem. Bella. There, there was this one dog I used to live in another place and there was, it was a puppy at the time and, oh. and his name was Blue. And it was like four years later and I'm like, they were playing. I was like, oh, who's this? And she's like, oh, this is Blue. And I'm like, I already knew that. But like, I can't be like, yeah, I remember Blue from four <laughs> years ago because I'm a psycho. So I was like, oh my gosh, hi, Blue. And I'm like, I knew where Blue used to live. Blue used to have a, a potty pad outside of their apartment when it was a puppy. She's crazy. No, I well, maybe. Psycho female blowing up the phone. How lines. long do you think we're going to be speaking today, Justine? I was just wondering the same thing. Well, we we got yelled at because we yes. did not speak for uh, longer than an hour in some of our previous episodes. But like, I ran out of stuff to talk about unless there's something to talk about. And my lung capacity is not the, what it used to be. Yeah, and I need to shoot a couple of other videos today. Yeah, today. Well. 
this is the thing is my plans were to shoot early today, but then I had it in my mind that I had to clean out my garage this morning. Yeah, well, so yeah. we went to freaking Home Depot so that I could get my cleaning supplies. It was like 8 a.m. Like it was 7.30, yeah. it was eight. I was like, oh, I'm going, I go, I'm going right, right now. now. Get in the car. And I was like, I'm outside walking the dog. So she get picks in. us up on the street. I'm in my jammies. I'm like, all right, well, I guess me and Maddie are going to Home Depot. Yeah. And I bought a fake plant for my office because all the other ones keep dying. But I was like, dude, I gotta go now. I have to do it now. I have gotta, I gotta get this garage clean because I want to, oh, I can, we can talk about my, my knee adventure. You have so, a boo-boo. I got boo-boo. Um, it's not severe, but like I wanted to get ahead of it because the things that I've done in the past is I've like overtrained and I've not taken care of the problem, which is why my my toe does does not bend. Oh yeah. Still to this well, day. You went to like same day doctor, which there's nothing wrong with that, but like her she only went to same day doctor and then I no other doctor. Th- I did physical therapy for like four months on this damn uh, darn thing. Darn this this darn thing. This darn toe. <laughs> Dude, yeah, but like was- didn't you start too late? No, I d- no, I didn't. Um, but the problem was, I think that we also went to Hawaii and we were hiking miles and miles. And oh miles. yeah, I was and like, you're I, fine. And I didn't want to admit to myself that it was as bad as it is. I was like, I'm going to carry on. It was pretty bad. Carry on my wayward toe. I used to love it's playing that in a uh, rock band. Do you remember? Rock band. I do. Yeah, I still have it. Uh, so mm-hmm. great. Yeah. So your toe, you got you got your knee. They anyway. said you had a good X-ray. Oh, so I went to the. This is, this is great. I, I actually had a great experience. The doctor, everyone was great, super friendly. They work on um, a lot of athletes. So they, they see a lot of sports injuries. So anyway, I get up, I go there. Um, and the, the x-ray tech, she was so sweet. She said something, she's like, oh, I was, I was looking around for your mom. And then I looked at your age and I was like, oh, you're not a little girl. <laughs> you're, you're fine. <laughs> I had like these flowing, like I definitely was dressed like a child. Like <laughs> they probably should have had their mother there. Um, but then I got the x-rays and everything. And the, the doctor came in. He's like, wow, your x-rays look beautiful. He's like, hey, you plenty of miles left on those knees. But the problem with uh, like those types of knee injuries is it's, like x-rays aren't going to show like the, the tissue, the tissue yeah. which is I think where our problem lies. Yeah. My knee gave out in October. It was around the time when the Apple watch came out. Oh yeah. I remember. Yeah. And I, I think because I started doing more outdoor running and um, yeah. So since then it's just been so weird because it only hurts randomly, but mm-hmm. it's like such a weird, severe pain that like I, I get scared. And that then, makes sense. And then I think also from, trying to like baby it from like running that I think I'm, I'm doing more damage. Could be. I'm not, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. I'm just asking you. I don't know. So you've got an, you got a Peloton bike. So um, I got a bike to do some low impact stuff. Um, Peloton's hard. It's hard. I really, I like it. It's good. It's fun. I, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, it's a good workout. It gets your heart rate up, which I, I tried. I was like, I'm going to do some low impact, you know, on my recovery of like COVID recovery. And I'm like, all right, cool. Let's, let's, let's get this up to a normal class. I was gasping for air. I was coughing the entire time. I'm like, I won't cough in the microphone, but I was literally gasping for air. And I'm like, I don't think my lungs are ready for this yet. So, um, low impact it is. It just sucks. Cause man, I was so into running and it was like the one thing that I was like, okay, this is, I never thought I would be a runner and now I'm a runner and now I'm injured, which means I'm probably officially a runner. Have you tried wearing like a, a knee brace? Um, I bought several, so I am wearing one of those now and I'm going to switch up my shoes. I was so into the Hoka shoes, but I might try like a different brand, yeah. a different style. Cause Hoka has so many different shoes. I love their shoes they so do. much. Well, maybe try um, their little knee brace. Yeah. I'm going to try a brace. Have you been icing it? Have you been I working have, on your inflammation? Yep, I've been icing. I've been also doing, uh, okay. heat. Oh, so, toasty times. And then the past four weeks I was doing, um, just like some, some rehab exercises. I mean, they, they're like, okay, we'll go to, go to PT. I'm like, well, I've basically been doing that for four weeks. That's why I'm here now because yeah, like I wanted to see what I should be doing, even though all the exercises that I was doing was basically what they're going to be prescribing. So yeah. So I can't stop yelling. I'm really it's sorry. okay. You're CP. I'm just trying to make it to like 50 minutes. Yeah. I don't we're know only we're, at 44 I don't think we're minutes. I, um, so today I was like, all right, all right, I'm doing it. I'm going to put on my makeup. I had to oh. shoot some B-roll stuff for a secret thing that was secret. Um, some stuff. And then I'm like, okay, all right, put on makeup and you film a video. I put on my makeup and I got so tired and I'm not even kidding you. It was like, my brain was like, you have to do this. But my body was like, it just felt like it was weighed down. I was like, I do not have the energy. So I laid down for like 12 minutes. 12 minutes? 12 minutes. Listen, well, I already took a 20 minute nap prior. Oh, okay. So it's been a struggle to stay awake. Uh, and then I chugged a Yerba Tropical. Oh, was it good? No, because it's oh. the 60 calorie one. So it's like, tastes like watered down Yerba, but it's mm. less sugar, but I just needed the the caffeine. Um, and then I filmed my little vlog. I came over here and I'm just so tired. 
I, do, I can't. Like, you know how I was always tired before? Yeah, but this is like I'd another laugh. level. I'd laugh at that tired Jenna because new tired Jenna is like, I can't even explain it. Mm. It's terrible. I wonder if there's some sort of supplements or something that you can do. Like, go get an IV. Like, I don't know. Maybe. Probably. I need to take some some B12. Probably. Can you go get like a B12 shot in the butt? Do they do that? Probably. What if it's too much B12? Well, then you be 11. B, no. <laughs> No, I, I do. I need to, I've been, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I mean, to be curious to see if anybody else has found anything that, that has helped. But the thing is, is like even some of our friends who have had this, um, it's like there's there's just been no, there's no answers. There's no relief. There's no, it's just testing, trial yeah. and error and just there's nothing works. And I hate, so like my nose has been running this whole time. I wake up in the morning. So this is also weird. And also why I was like, do I have COVID round two? Because pretty sure I had Delta a couple of weeks ago, like hundred percent sure because I oh, had every had the old version. Yeah, I know the worst one. Oh. Um, so then they're like, oh yeah. And even with the Omicron, you can still get it like back to whatever. So um, I've been coughing and sneezing and I'll wake up and my eyes are swollen and I, as soon as I sit up or stand or walk, I will sneeze nonstop. Hmm. I'll, I sneeze like 15 times as soon as I stepped out of bed this morning and then my blood sugar drops and then I have to eat. Um, and it's just like, that has been my day. And I'll put on makeup and I, I was like sneezing so much that like my makeup came off and I'm like, okay, well, I got to redo my makeup now. And I, uh, I hate talking about it because I keep talking about it, but it's like, it's affecting my work. So like, I haven't been like working really. Yeah. And I hate talking about it, but I'm like, dude, like I, I messed up, man. I'm trying to make videos, but I can't because I can't I physically. I'm so tired <laughs> or my face is melting off. It's so weird. Um, like at the shoot of the Sony shoot, I was, I had a venti Starbucks coffee and a, another tall latte before 10 a.m. And then I had like two yerbas just so I could stay hmm. awake all day on set. I was like, oh my God, I have to be a real person. I was like, I can do this. I can do this. No, it's tough because I mean I, I I don't have it that bad, but there's definitely been times where like even the, this this afternoon, like I planned on shooting and then I was so tired from cleaning out the garage. Yeah. I lay down and pass out for thirty seven minutes thanks to the aura ring. Yeah, I uh, it's been a struggle. So like I I don't want to keep talking about it because I also am getting furious at the people who are like it's just a cold, and I am worried because I don't know if I can control my rage when people say that. Now, here's the thing. It is, it is a cold for some people. For some for people, yeah. have those symptoms. If your uncle John says, you know, I just had a cold. I'm so happy for your uncle John, but I wish people were a little bit more, uh, what's the word? Like thoughtful, considerate. Yeah, considerate towards the fact that like, it is not a cold for some people. I, you know, I survived it. I didn't, you know, I'm still here, like whatever. I have like the residual effects, but like, I'm still here. So that's great. But like a, millions a of people, lot of people millions are not of people well are not here and are, 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 have died. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm so glad, so glad for your uncle John who just had a cold, but like- Uncle John, you're cold. Yeah. Mm. Unless you, if, if you know, you know. If don't, and if anybody is feeling this way and if anybody says it's just a cold, I got you. I know it is not just a cold. And if you are saying that, be considerate. You do not want to see me in person. You're going to get it. You could probably take me down because I'm quite weak right now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's taking all my energy to not fight the internet and the comments. You're lucky Jenna has low energy. Or you so low energy. You could, be at you. you could literally just knock me over. But it is funny too, because look, at this, last thing we'll say, uh, seeing <laughs> Magic Johnson and uh, our governor. Gavin Newsom. Yeah, Gavin, uh, you know, it's like you guys, well, not Matt Johnson, but it's, he's just like, you know, the mask mandate. And obviously he's doing what he has to do. But I'm like, dude, who's your PR person that you think that posting a maskless photo of all of you uh, people at the, the game? At the game that you know is going to go on the internet. It's like, dude, really poor form. That was interesting. Yeah. I mean, interesting. Like I have no problem wearing a mask. I don't care at all. I actually enjoy wearing it. You well, know? the thing is, is I'm like, I don't care. If you don't want to, whatever, don't wear a mask, wear a mask. I don't even care. Like, it's not my fight anymore. It's just, I'll do, I'm going to wear my mask. But people were mad at us for, for Oh, we were in the car. In the car. They're like, why do you have a mask on? And I was like. First of all, we were going to see someone who we didn't want to get sick at all. And this is when I was like, look, I took a test today. It was negative, but like, I have been very closely exposed. Like I could have COVID. I probably shouldn't have left the house. I have not got COVID. So, so and, I don't want it. And I'm coughing so much where it literally tastes like like blood so it's like so funny where it's like people are like why do you have a mask on 
So it's like, why do you even care? Like, why do you care that I have a mask on? Like when I saw, like, you know, our governor didn't have a mask on, I like I cared because I was like, I mean, I didn't like care. Cause I'm like, you do whatever you want, but you're the one getting the backlash, not me. But, like, why do we care what everyone else is doing? Like, just, sh- 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 just shut your mouth. Or sh- stop, sh- sh- t- t- mouth. T- 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 take the fingers and stop typing. <laughs> yeah, they run like that. I don't know. It's like, I don't care. I don't care. I've given up. I'm going to no, wear my mask. But I feel like if you are a political figure and you are trying to, you know, try to help maintain oh, yeah. this pandemic. Bad and look, you, buddy. It's a bad look. That's a very bad Even look. Even the other day, um, like I had a picture that we, we were, uh, I met up with. Yeah. Um, Travis and, <laughs> and you were like, Justine, why don't you have a mask go, on? Where's go, your mask? Literally, we were wearing a mask in my house everywhere around that we went. Like I had one on, like, and then for the two seconds that I took it off and I was like, oh my God, like it's true. But it's like, they also could have done that same maybe, thing. I don't maybe know, they I don't did. Know if I did or do, not. We, do we believe I don't that? Know. I don't know. I'm not really sure. It's hard to say. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, I'm just glad that you can't get COVID when you're eating or drinking or past 10 PM. So I'm just happy about that. I know. <laughs> it's just, it's exhausting. I don't know, but. I'm tired. I'm too, t- I'm tired. too tired to fight. I'm, I'm not, I don't even want to fight, but I will fight you on Twitter because I just, I don't care. I've given up. Well, I'm setting the garage back up for Fight Club, so. How am I supposed to, oh, I want to do Fight, fight camp. camp. Fight Camp, I still, yeah, I got to set that all up. I want to get like a little, maybe a projector. You said a projector yeah, before. Yeah, a projector would be, would be cool so that you can do the classes. It'd be cool. Yeah. Or get like a little TV mounted. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We'll yeah. see. Well, anyway, guys. Jenna doesn't want to speak anymore. I don't want to speak anymore. I've lost my energy. Thank you guys for watching or <laughs> listening. If you're listening, you can also watch uh, this lovely content and you can see my new sweatshirt on youtube.com slash same brain. You can also leave us reviews on uh, Apple Podcasts as yep. well as voice messages, anchor.fm slash same brain. Love to hear it. My great, nose great won't job. stop running. Well, good thing that we're done speaking now. We are, but I need you to speak in my vlog. Okay. Okay. Bye guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.